CIET MCERT presents audiobook of environmental studies textbook for class 4 entitled looking around this is the chapter 16 a busy month from page 127 to page 136 page 127 bal mandir Bhavnagar, 13 April 1936 Dear children, it is three o'clock in the afternoon. There are no clouds in the sky. The sun is burning hot. The sparrows, doves and sunbirds have started working in pairs as they prepare to make their nests. Some of the birds have already made their nests. In some of the nests, the eggs have hatched. The parent birds are busy feeding the chicks with different kinds of insects and other things. Next to the text, we have a picture of a dove. In our courtyard also, there is a baby dove. There is another egg in the nest, but it has not hatched yet. For the teacher, Gijubhai Badheka lived in Gujarat. He wrote many stories for children. In this letter you will read about some of the birds that you see all around. After reading this letter, children should be encouraged to observe birds around them. Discuss about them in your class. Page 128 On the way to Gopal Bhai's house, there are many stones along the roadside. In the space between these stones, an Indian robin has laid its eggs. But Chubhai showed it to me. I looked through the binoculars. I saw that the nest was made of grass. On top, there were soft twigs, roots, wool, hair and cotton wool. This is how the robin makes its nest. What a soft and cosy home for its chicks. Next to the text we have the picture of an Indian robin. The robin is not like the crow. A crow's nest is made of all kinds of things. Even pieces of wire and wood. Next to the text on the right side we have the picture of a crow. Below the picture the text continues. I saw a baby bird in the robin's nest. It was sitting with its beak wide open. The mouth was red from inside. In a little while the robin flew to the nest and put something in the chick's open beak. Maybe a few small insects. By then it was evening. The robin settled down with its chick. Below the text we have the picture of a coil on the left side. Next to the picture there is a green box with some text. You know that the coil sings sweetly. You know that the coil sings sweetly. Do you know that this bird does not make its own nest? It lays its eggs in a crow's nest. The crow hatches them along with its own eggs. In the bottom left-hand corner of the page, there is a picture of a barbet. Next to the picture, we have the text. There is a small tree nearby. It has a nest hanging from its branch. Birds are so wonderfully different. The crow builds its nest high up on a tree. The dove makes its nest among the thorns of a cactus plant or a mehdi hedge. The sparrow can be found in and around our own house. It makes its nest anywhere, on top of a cupboard, behind a mirror, on a ledge. Page 129 Pigeons also make their nest like this. Often they make nests in old or deserted buildings. The barbet or coppersmith bird can be heard in the summer with its tuk 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 call. 
it makes its nest in a hole in a tree trunk and the tailor bird uses its sharp beak to stitch together two leaves on a bush it lays its eggs in the fold of the leaf that it has made this is its nest on the top left corner of the page we have the picture of a tailor bird and its nest on the right side of the page we have a small picture of a sunbird below the picture the text continues the sunbird makes a nest that hangs from the branch of a small tree or a bush the same evening we saw a sunbird's nest can you guess what its nest is made of the nest has hair grass thin twigs dry leaves cotton wool bits of tree bark pieces of cloth rags and even spiders cobwebs on the bottom left side of the page we have the picture of a weaver bird and its nest when i looked through the binoculars i could see a chick in the nest it was sitting near the small opening in the nest it was waiting for its mother to bring some food what else can it do just eat and sleep there is a green box below this in which the text is written do you know about the weaver bird the male weaver bird makes beautifully woven nests the female looks at all the nests and chooses the one that she likes the best and decides in which to lay her eggs page 130 all the birds are so busy these days making a nest and laying the eggs is only the first step it is a difficult task to raise the young ones in the nest which had been made with so much effort birds have many enemies humans and other animals too crows and squirrels cats and rats all of them wait for a chance to steal the eggs many times they even break the nest to keep oneself safe from danger to find food make a nest hatch the eggs and raise the chicks safely all these are tests for every bird and see how the birds still sing with joy and spread their wings and fly freely so that is all for now Salam. Blessings from your Gijubhai. Below this we have some questions. How many years ago did Gijubhai write this letter? Dash. Find out how old your grandfather and grandmother were at that time. Dash. This letter talks about many different birds. How many of these birds have you seen? Dash. How many other birds have you seen? Which ones? Dash. Have you seen a bird's nest? Where did you see it? Dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces provided. Page 131. Which is your favorite bird? Can you show your friends in the class how it flies? and what sound it makes guess what this bird is a crown on the head and coins on the tail so many shades of blue from top to tail clue it is our national bird write your answer in the blank space do you know of any other bird that makes its nest in a tree trunk like the barbet does Dash. If there is a nest inside or around your house, look carefully at it. Remember, do not go too near the nest and do not touch it. If you do, then the bird will not come to the nest again. Observe the nest for some days and note down the following things. Where is the nest made? Dash. 
What is the nest made of? Dash. Is the nest ready or are the birds still making it? Dash. Can you recognize which bird has made the nest? Dash. What things does the bird bring to the nest? Dash. Is there any bird sitting in the nest? Dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces provided. Page 132. Do you think there are any eggs in the nest? Dash. Can you hear any sound like chee chee from the nest? Dash. If there are chicks in the nest, what do the parent birds bring for them to eat? Dash. How many times in one hour do the birds come to the nest? Dash. After how many days did the chicks leave the nest? Dash. Make a picture of the nest in your notebook. You have seen how birds use many different things to make their nests. Use some of these things and make a nest. Make a small paper bird to put in your nest. Birds use the nest only to lay their eggs. After the eggs have hatched and the chicks have grown, they leave the nest. Imagine how it would be if we also had to leave our homes as soon as we learned how to walk and talk. After they leave their nest, different kind of birds live at different places, some on trees, some near or on water, and some on land. Other animals also have different places where they live, on land, under the ground, in water, on trees. Let us have some fun. Make three groups in the class. Each child must draw a picture of an animal and color it. They should then cut each picture out. Page 133 Children in one group will take the cutouts of the pictures of animals that live on land. They should then draw soil, grass and some trees on a chart paper. Stick the pictures of the land animals at the correct places on the chart. The second group will take the cutouts of the pictures of animals that live in water. They should then color a chart paper blue to show water. Then also draw water plants, stones, etc. They should then stick the pictures of the animals that live in water on the chart. The third group will take the cutouts of the pictures of animals that live on trees. One child in the group will draw a big tree on a chart paper and color it. Then all the children in the group must stick their cutouts of the pictures on the chart paper of their group. Put up all the three charts in your class and discuss about them. Bird feet. Different kind for different needs. Below this we have five different pictures in five different boxes. These are the pictures of different kinds of bird feet. Below each picture we have some text about the use of these feet. 1. To swim in water. 2. To hold the tree branches. 3. To catch the prey that is, what it hunts. 4. To climb the tree. 5. To walk on the land. Page 134 Bird beaks According to the food Below this we have six pictures of different kinds of bird beaks according to the food they eat. Below each picture is given a description of 
the reason for that kind of beak. 1. To tear and eat meat. 2. To make holes in wood and tree trunks. 3. To suck nectar from flowers. 4. To find insects and worms from mud and shallow water. 5. To break and crush seeds. 6. To cut and eat many kinds of food. Animal teeth. You have seen that animals have different types of teeth. We have a yellow colored box with some text and next to it in a circle is the picture of a cow snipping grass. The box has this text. Cows have short front teeth for snipping grass. The teeth on the sides are large and flat for chewing the grass. Below this we have a pink box with some text and next to it in a circle is the picture of a cat tearing and cutting meat. The box has this text. Cats have sharp teeth for tearing and cutting meat. Page 135 we have a blue box in which the text is written, Snakes have sharp curved teeth, but they do not chew their prey. Snakes always swallow their food whole. Next to this on the left side in a circle we have the picture of a snake showing its sharp curved teeth. Below this box we have another green box with the text, Squirrels' front teeth keep growing throughout their life. They have to keep gnawing on things to keep their teeth from becoming too long. Next to this text, in a green circle, we have the picture of a squirrel gnawing on something. Find out about your own teeth and write. Your age? There's a blank box for you to fill in. How many teeth do you have? A blank box for your answer. Have any of your teeth fallen or broken? How many? There's a blank box for your answer. How many new teeth do you have? A blank box for you to write. How many of your milk teeth have fallen, but no new teeth have come in their place? A blank box for your answer. Find out more about teeth. Look at your friend's teeth. Are there different kinds of teeth? Draw one front tooth and one back tooth in your notebook. Can you see any difference between these teeth? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Courtesy, Center for Environment Education, Ahmedabad, for all the pictures used in this chapter. Page 136 Imagine and Share If you did not have front teeth, both top and bottom, how would you eat a guava? Act and show how. You have your front teeth, but no teeth at the back. Someone gives you a roti. Show how would you eat it. You do not have any teeth in your mouth. What kind of things would you be able to eat? Draw a picture in your notebook. How would you look if you had no teeth? Find out from old people who do not have teeth. What are the kind of things that they cannot eat? Draw a picture of a bird commonly seen in your area. Label its body parts also. There is a blank rectangular box under this for you to draw the picture. The chapter 16 of total 27 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India